The creation of the country, Bangladesh, had many complications before it actually became a country. When Europeans began setting up trading posts in the area in the 16th century, they grew a liking for the trade. Eventually, they came down to dominate the area and it became part of British India. East Bengal and West Pakistan separated from India because of religious conflict. East Bengal and West Pakistan created the new country of Pakistan. However, the Bengalis were dissatisfied with the awkward two-part country. It seceded from its union with West Pakistan and renamed itself Bangladesh. Bangladesh is a beautiful country in South Asia. It's located between Burma and India. The country is slightly smaller than Iowa. It has about 580 kilometers of coastline along the Bay of Bengal. Its climate is tropical and it has three seasons. The mild winter lasts from October to March, and then it has a hot, humid summer from March to June. Its third season is a humid, warm and rainy monsoon season that lasts from June to October. Its land is mostly flat, but it gets hilly in the southeastern corner. Its lowest point is the Indian Ocean at zero meters above sea level, and its highest point is the Kyokudong at 1,230 meters above sea level. The country is susceptible to many natural disasters such as droughts, cyclones, and monsoons. There's a lot of water pollution in freshwater streams around Bangladesh, creating many waterborne diseases. There's also a severe case of overpopulation in the small country. Even though there's a lot of water pollution, they still have access to quite a bit of fresh water because the country is situated on river deltas flowing from the Himalayan mountains. Situated on river deltas flowing from the Himalayan mountains. Bangladesh is a very politically unstable country. Poor infrastructure, corruption, insufficient power supplies, and lack of economic reform are to blame. Bangladesh is poor and overpopulated, but 45% of the population is employed in agriculture. This is because rice is their single most important export. Jute, tea, wheat, sugarcane, potatoes, tobacco, oil seeds, fruit, beef, and milk. Their second most significant export is clothing. It is common to find clothing made in Bangladesh. The country's GDP is 258.6 billion, and the GDP per capita is $1,700. Industry and services cover the other 55% of Bangladesh employment. Some of their industry exports include cotton, textiles, garments, new paper newsprint, cement, chemical fertilizer, and sugar. The unemployment rate is 5.1%, and 40% of the population is below the poverty line. Their currency is called Taka. There are 900,000 landlines in use in Bangladesh and 68.5 million cell phones. Digital phones are a new concept in Bangladesh. There is one broadcasting station and three radio networks. The internet code is .bd. Bangladesh has four military branches. The Bangladesh Defense Force, the Bangladesh Army, the Bangladesh Navy, and the Bangladesh Air Force. When you are 16, you can voluntarily enter the military. When you are 17, you can be drafted. There are currently about 90,000 people enlisted in the military. There are 16 airports in the country, 15 of which have paved runways. There are 2,622 kilometers of railway and about 8,370 kilometers of waterway. Over half the waterway in Bangladesh is used. Bangladesh is used. The official name of Bangladesh is the People's Republic of Bangladesh. Despite the word Republic of Bangladesh, despite the actually a parliamentary democracy. The country has one time zone, BST, which stands for Bangladesh Standard Time. It is 13 hours ahead of Mountain Standard. Standard Time. It is 13. March 16th, 1971 is their Independence Day from West Pakistan. They call it Victory Day. December 16th, 1971 is the day that they call Independence Day. However, it is the day that commemorates the creation of the country Bangladesh. There are seven political parties in Bangladesh. The Awami League the Communist Party of Bangladesh, the Bangladesh Nationalist Party, the Kalpadara Bangladesh, Islami Oikajot, Shamata e Islami Bangladesh, and the Jativa Party. Recently in Bangladesh, 
has been discovered that there is some inhumane labor occurring. As you can see, the men have to swim into the manhole in here to clean it. This shows that all over the world, people are desperate for jobs, so they'll do anything. It has been discovered. Another recent event in Bangladesh was the opening of a brand new school for the blind. This school houses students that are blind and incapable of learning with the others. This shows that all over the world, people are trying to make a difference with others with special needs and disabilities. It also shows that if we really apply ourselves, we can be nice to others. Dining etiquette in Bangladesh is not too strict, except for these basic rules. Men and women don't generally eat together, and meals will be often the same gender. The host or hostess will continue to serve you food until told otherwise. Just politely say, I'm full to finish eating. Meals are usually served oldest to youngest. The left hand is considered unclean, so only drink, eat, or pass dishes with the right hand. The U.S.-Bangladesh relations were weak because of the U.S. relations with Pakistan until, in March of 2000, Clinton took a trip to Bangladesh. Ever since then, the U.S.-Bangladesh relations have been excellent. Of course, not every relationship can be perfect. Bangladesh is a little upset because they export so much clothing to us and get almost nothing in return. The future of Bangladesh looks amazing. They have many allies such as the US, UK, France, Italy, Japan, and surrounding Asian countries such as Burma and India. There are people who don't enjoy conflict and war. As far as I can tell, the skies look bright and beautiful for Bangladesh.